Welcome. We've got the We Eidolon, and uh, I guess the name denotes some kind of human form, spirit thing in the old Greek, whatever stuff. So they always scour for names. Uh, that does not impress me. I'm sorry. I, I think some people are just trying too hard to come up with some cutesy name and I really don't care. I mean, this Eidolon's fine. I, I, don't, I don't care. Um, gray G10 Integral Handle, Stainless Steel Liner, CPM20CV Drop Point Blade, Stone Wash. You can get this in a dagger style blade. You can get this with Carbon Fiber Integral. This is G10 Integral Titanium Pocket Clip. Looks like it's screwed in from the backside, which is a real trick, isn't it? Uh, maybe I'm not understanding how they got in there to do that, but uh, that's it. Those are the screws back in there. Hmm, interesting, huh? Uh, easy to disengage. It's a liner lock, like I said, steel liner. So disengaging is easy. It drops away. It's like 2.15 ounces, so it's basically the same weight as a bug out, but it's thicker here uh, than like even the paramilitary two. It's like a 0 0.53, 0 0.54 of an inch at 13.9 millimeters. And of course the blade just disappears in the handle. That's crazy cool, isn't it? Nice, nice, you know, Nice design flow to it, but this is not Lundquist's first shot. Uh, three, three millimeters, at, and I bumped it a little bit, but 0.12 of an inch. So, pretty cool, huh? Uh, let, let's throw the tape on it. It's not three inch blade. It, you know, it's less than that, and I'm sure that's intentional because certain regulations and laws and this and that. But also for those people who like small, you know, under three inch or three inch and under blades and like 2.85 at like 72 millimeters and six and a half inches at 16 and a half centimeters. So, okay, you know, uh, small, I mean, this, I'm sure somebody's gonna say, this would be really cool in a bigger form. And I, I agree with you, um, it's, it's not inexpensive. It's basically $200. I uh, use LTK discount code on white mountain knives. If you, you know, you want to get 10% off $195 on this one. Okay. And this is the drop point and here's the stats. Okay. Now, um, I, I, let me see if I've got, if I got anything loan quiz, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Right hand carry, no left hand, front flipper type deal. But also you can check this out. Uh, you have some choices on this. Come on, give me a break here. Okay, um, carbon fiber. And you can see on that, they, I don't know that they did a surround on the pivot, but they did on the G10 versions. There's black G10. There's a total blacked out. And of course, you're looking at the difference between a drop point as well and then a dagger point so you know you need to make up your mind on that if you're going to get one uh, i don't need a dagger point i like the drop point i don't know if the dagger point sharpened on both sides i doubt that it is so either way you're going to get a single edge you know that's sharpened and this one well i didn't follow through did i okay come on Okay, let's try that. Um, it's all right. Um, it, you know, it's not scary sharp, this one. It's, it's okay. It's just kind of a standard factory edge. But, I mean, I've seen stuff that was scary sharp, and this is not that. Uh, not that you couldn't take it to that. You could, but I'm a little surprised they didn't come out with a little bit better edge on there. There's your lockup. I don't know how you're going to argue that it's much less than a 40% lockup on that. that. That's pretty sturdy. Like I said before, steel liner, 
nothing on that side there just there's your liner and, and you know how they put all that thing together on an integral uh, they did a great job I've carried it and uh, this slides in and out of the pocket really well titanium on this titanium supposedly on the screw and uh, then you know stainless on the liner and any other screws that are involved here which is probably what's holding this on okay you know front flip and that was a fail um front flipper and you know there's just people that get to the point where they're they don't have that kind of dexterity in their hand so this becomes a little bit more difficult um although the word to these people from me is normally front flippers you can't do a reach around like that <laughs> reach around yes indeed you can't um and you can on this one. This is not that difficult because I'm not good at trying to flip them like this. But yes, uh, this one you can do and you can hold on to it and do that. So really, uh, you can flip it like a normal flipper in a way. Uh, and I kind of get what they're doing. I mean, I was going to kind of give them a hard time for not having a little bit more pronounced here and or maybe just a flipper tab and forget this part because front flipper to me is getting to be a little too much of a kind of a fanboy fad you know what I mean uh I, I don't see it as really that tactically superior or it's just a thing you know because we can do it we will do it um but on this knife, it just makes it such an incredibly clean look, doesn't it? Look at that. You don't even hardly see this sticking out. That is, that's nice. I, 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 so I'm going to have to go with, yes, I'm, I'm okay with this. I am. And the detent is such that, thank God it's not stronger. You can kick it open like that. So again, there's your back uh, your, your frame integral you know and I've got that I still got my Reich Tule T-U-L-A-Y I believe is that it okay um and that is an integral and I think I I announced that is the first G10 true G10 integral I know one person would say oh no no that was another one but the other one was like a carbon fiber integral or something. But this is not the first G10 integral, but it, it's interesting. It's just, okay, 20 CV blade steel, but uh, $200 and 227 for the carbon fiber. And it's six and a half inches overall length. That's, you're getting it all, I think. You're getting it all. It's coming in this box like I showed you before. There's kind of the, the model number and all that. And hold on. I always take them off from the other side, don't I? And then, uh, and of course, you've probably seen the pouches. And if you haven't, this I'm going to show it to you anyhow. Uh, nice zipper pouch. It's good. You get a microfiber cloth. You get the uh, uh, Elijah Isham's, you know, knife sticker for some reason and uh you know your paperwork warranty it comes in plastic in this you get two pockets in your zipper pouch so that's nice you can carry two knives if you're headed out somewhere and you want to take two of them with you and just throw them in a pouch you could do that so um yeah i like their packaging i think that's good i'm fine with it and there she is, Big Ben, or I guess Little Ben, uh, with the Westminster chimes. Thank God it's not like 11 o'clock and that thing will be dangin' for the next minute and a half. Um, but yeah, I mean, I can get four fingers on there. That's good. Um, let me see where my balance point is. It's back here a ways. That blade is just so light, and that's why. So, you know, not taking this apart, yeah, it's a little more difficult to kind of understand the function of this because I don't see a, a 
blade stop per se, but something's going on in here. Uh, and then there's your your lock, but uh, yeah. And I'm not getting any blade player lock rock. Interesting. I don't know how they get it all together. I guess I'd know more if I took that completely off. And I may just do that much just to take a look at it and see if I can also, you know, screw it up to where it's no good anymore. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ooh, we got some stuff in here, but yeah, you can start seeing there's something going on here through there. Hmm. Wow, oh, we do have some junk in there, though. Yeah. Hmm. Let's look at the underside here. Oh, that looks... Um, that's got some stuff as well. Um, you know, I could push this through. I'm just, you know what? I'm not going to, though. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. If anything would be interesting to see the insides, this might be. Uh, but uh, with integrals, I have sworn them off as far as disassembly goes. I mean, you're not going to crack the scales, obviously, but I'm, ju I'm just saying... Sometimes they give you access, a better access than that to the pivot and the bearings and everything. But nah, I think I'm going to leave that one well enough alone. And are we centered back up? Yeah, we are. And we definitely put enough on that. We don't need that much on it. That's better. All right, the idle on. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I. You know what? I. I think it'd be interesting if this way. You know, if you even got to like a three point six five blade on this, or even added an inch to the blade length. Uh, that'd be just under four. Ooh, that'd be something, right? Even with a dagger blade, and integral. I wonder if we knives would do that. You know, that does sound inviting. I'm going to leave you alone. Um, thank you so much for joining me. It's just an overlook and not too detailed, but uh, pretty cool little knife. You know what we do around here. We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.